mean hardcore. All right. <laughs> so this is Thomas Moran. If you like the uh, write down Mark Bryan, but then I should have a picture of the scene to avoid. It's one of the big wave on the left, and it comes over the right. It's one everybody does. Yeah. We've seen over and I over. I hate that one. But Mark Bryan, but... you know the one. Yeah, the yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> so avoid that one. But Mark Bryan does have some decent oceans. I think we've all painted that at one point or another. Who hasn't? <laughs> no, I haven't. Guilty pleasures. I never won. I did it in basic art. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Everyone, everyone My oil pastel. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. So with this, um, basically the, the background waves need to disappear into the uh, color of the sky. So this would really be almost exactly that color, uh, but 10%. But this is correct so far. So step number one, uh, draw the uh, black, or uh, paint the whole thing black for the base. So the base coat is black. Or you could, you can get tricky and add a little bit of blue or green to it. Depends if you're feeling wild and crazy. And then the rest of these colors, this will be more reds in here reflecting, and these will be more yellows in here reflecting. And um, your edges, the border, uh, eventually you can even take a glaze to it. And uh, I'll show you that. So after you paint it, even if it is kind of blue like that, uh, what T-Dog does, I'm oh, sorry, you guys don't know, um, what Thomas Moran, <laughs> Thomas Moran, he, uh, he'll paint the waves in whatever color, you know, like a darker base, and then he'll paint um, these colors, and then he'll do a glaze on top of them by just putting it on there, and then taking a sponge, and then hazing it out a little bit, and even going over into the sky. So you could take these colors, like some of the sky color here, test it out. So even though this is white, I can come in here with a little bit of a glaze and have it overlap both the sky and the water, and then fade it out. And then you can continue to do that, and that'll give you sort of that look there. So, but let the glazes come over the, uh, the actual waves that you just got through creating. Painting, you need a small brush, so there's no secrets to it. This is like just a time-consuming pain in the butt. So, you're just going to take, uh, after the base coat, right now, draw out the wave shapes and try to be accurate. This one looks a little like a teepee, currently. That's all right. <laughs> okay. So, after you have the teepee created, then the brush strokes, like these are like really sweeping brush strokes. These are Mark Bryan brush strokes. That's not uh, T Dog. So T does really small brush strokes. Want to know why? Because he has time. Because the dude, uh, that's his job. So I'm going to take the blue, black, white, and could even take a little bit of the orange in there. And for the background, I'm going to start with the small brush strokes. And after you're like following the contours, maybe I'll show you that. <clears throat> I'll show you both. This one, uh, this background wave, you want to avoid like the dry brush strokes. So you need to have like a solid seam, solid edge. But uh, I'm going to clean this up. And then this is going to overlap everything else. So you got to start with the background waves and work your way up. So I'll take these. And so instead, of, it's kind of like the landscapes where you're just taking the brush and you're tapping in following the direction. And the key to painting water is water. So write that down, that's a, that's a good one. So without water, it's not gonna look realistic. So you gotta have a lot of lube to the paint. So if it's dry or thick, like this is kind of thick and dry, so the water looks heavier and it doesn't look as, uh, how do you say, watery. So I'm gonna take the little lighter colors, so I'm just tapping on the, uh, the brush strokes, following the contours of the waves, and then even having it curl over. And then you're going to build up lighter and lighter values. So this is on top of that layer, and then I'll start adding lighter values here. Also note that you don't have that much contrast back here. So this is going to be less contrast. The waves up here are going to be darker and lighter. So the whites of the waves back here aren't going to be as light as the waves in the foreground. This will have the glazes later. So I'm taking just a bright brush, a small bright, and the key is just following the direction. So if the wave is curling up, you're doing small brush strokes following the wave. And then I'll even curl it down here a little bit. Also, 
like here, see that little sun? You need to have a sun, like an actual sun, somewhere in the curvature of your major wave. So if this is your major wave, your focus wave, then you're gonna need a sun like right here so you can show off how cool your reflections are. So like everybody loves reflections and waves. So even if the light source is different on your figure, have it so, like in figures, you want your light source to be on the right or left. Landscapes, you want them in the middle third. Seascapes. So, small brush strokes, tapping it in. And um, the key is avoiding these. And then, tip, tap, tap a room. So I'm just going tip, 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 and then tapping it in. I'll do like this little section right here, I'll show you that one too. So in these, this kind of kind of swirling and everything, this is like a straight driveway looking deal. So I'm gonna start with the darker values. Brownish blue, black. I'll even go darker. <laughs> Yeah, well, the orange kind of thing, but kind of makes a little bit of a, it's kind of a muddy color. So I'm gonna paint this in to get rid of that really uh, hard edge ramp. You don't want the straight ramp. It needs to look like it's flowing, churning. A churning sea. I'll get rid of that. And then I'll go over all this. I'm kind of bringing it back to that black base coat almost. And then even in here too. Oh, this is only a long show. Right now, there is no real shortcuts to oceans. Good ones. It's just a, it's like a thousand brush strokes per wave. But you can go kind of fast. You just got to make sure that you don't try to try to simplify it. Get a big ass brush in there. That's Mark Bryan status. God bless him. But not realistic. And then, so I'm adding these darker values in there. And even though the brown looks kind of uh, fugly, uh, it'll look good later when you have all the reflections in there. So people always want to do blue and black only. Dude, throw in some brown. So it's like just churning up a bunch of crud in the sea. And a lot of water. So look at all the water I'm putting in. No dry brushes. So it's almost like glazes. Okay, so you can kind of see the color changes. See how it's like a little more orange and brown, which looks seems ugly, but then when you see it when it's done, it'll look uh, it'll look more realistic than just blue. Like color interpretation is huge. This guy does pretty dang good. When he used to come over and paint with me, he always uh, did uh, like these seascapes and whatnot, I'd be all, T, just slow down, man. <laughs> and then it finally started slowing down, you started turning out this stuff. It was good. Okay, so you can kind of see how I'm like chopping it up. Shadows. Thomas Moran is dead. What? No, I don't know. He's a... Thomas Moran's an all-dead white guy, isn't he? No. Well, now he's, he's dead now. <laughs> he I died thought... in about 1880. Yeah. <laughs> But, oh, yeah, this is a different, different life. Uh -huh. No, this wasn't, no, not me. It was like okay. previous. When I, my name was Simon. That was my fake ID name. Just joking. Okay, so, I'm still tiny brush strokes. Dude, it just takes forever. And then, um, you can follow the different contours of it. So I'll just pimp out one wave, and then that's going to be about it. But even that is already starting to get that depth to it we're talking about. And I can't really do this face yet because that part's not done. The worst thing you do is have like brush strokes that are kind of like dry, thick paint. Like this is kind of thick, so it's just like work up glazes only. So it's just a lot of water. And you really can't, this thing is kind of turning up. I'll add some more highlights up there. <clears throat> now I'll add up a little bit more white to it, and then, um, so once again, smaller brush strokes, watch how uh, this will eventually be white, but I'm not rushing into the white. And then down here, 
this curve, so you're following the contours of the waves. But rather than one Mark Ryan brush stroke, I'm doing T Dog brush strokes, which are really small. <laughs> small little tip tap tap rows. And then some of them will connect. And then also, what you're going to want to do is when you guys paint waves, is systematic brush strokes. So you'll get one little pattern, and then you'll do multiple the same. So make note to yourself to avoid systematic patterns. So I'm kind of like turning it, but it's like multiple brush strokes, changing it all the time. So you can kind of see how I'm getting that on there. And then more water, a little bit more white. This will be like the foam will be curling over. And like I said, this is not an exciting, this isn't really a magic show, this is a manual labor show. Like if you try to take shortcuts, it won't look good. Maybe I'll call it. Yeah, and then you can go back in with dark again, so you, you build it up, you take it down, you build it up with highlights, and then you add shadows again. Dude, that took him so long to do. And so this, yeah, at least two days to do that whole painting. I don't know how long to do. But you look at how many paintings these artists do, and then these guys weren't in a class. These guys uh, paint, that's what was, that was their job. So you gotta figure, they were working every day, 10 hours a day, eight hours a day, and uh, they didn't do that many paintings per year. Basically, if you just have the patience to slow down, you can be better than most contemporary artists because most contemporary artists want to get done in a hurry. Little microwave paintings. <laughs> microwave paintings. So then, so now I'm going to start, you can see how light the white is here, but now I'm starting with highlights down here. I got to come back in with more, oops, too late. So I'm going to get the browns again. The murky whites. It's not even that different from what I had before. I'm about ready to say etc. etc. <coughs> okay, this is a boring show. Sorry. Well, it fits this, yeah, it fits this thing. I wouldn't want techno right now. No, we need, like, Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, uh, yeah, that would be more appropriate. That would be pretty magical. And so you can keep going with this. I'm not going to go too much further than this, because it's not my project. And then with the foam, i got to show you, like, one part at least that's done. So you can kind of see it's starting to curl. A little bit. Then I'm gonna take this, almost like almost a pure white, put this on, and then I would go over this with another glaze later of the orange. So I'm tapping that on there as it comes over. So you can get the sense that it's reaching over here. And then for the contrast, I'm gonna need brighter highlights on this side. So it's just, I'm kind of rolling the brush, so I'm not tapping it, I'm like rolling the brush. And then... Aren't they in the bucket? Yeah. Okay, so you can kind of see the foam working here. Okay, and then another eight layers and I'll be done. Kind of joking, kind of not. And then to make sure that you have like the little shine on there, he doesn't have it quite as bright as this, so I'm gonna do a little Mark Bryan technique. Everyone around me, yes. Tap it on there, then you can blend it out a little bit with your uh, finger. So watch this, tap out a little bit, wet, and I'm tapping it. Take a finger, and then just rub it out. Uh oh. Put any finger you want. Okay, <laughs> so that's one wave down, 
and this is good enough except for a glaze. You need to take this color and put a glaze after it's dry. But that's one wave, and then you do a couple good looking waves, and then these homely looking waves will look better. Alright, that's wave magic!